Welcome back, folks. Today, I've got one that's a bit different from 3D printing content, but it does sort of tie back into the lasers that I've been working with for the last couple of months. A couple weeks ago, a company named We Create reached out to me and asked if I would be interested in trying out their 40 watt diode laser. Now, if you are a longtime viewer of the channel, you'll know I had the Falcon 2 Pro that is, well, still sitting over there right now. However, I don't need two 40 watt diode lasers. And the We Create really drew my attention with some of its features that it has to offer. We'll go over those in a little bit. I don't have the laser here just yet. That will be here tomorrow for you guys. It'll all be here in the same video. Right now, what I do have is the fume extractor for the laser. So we're going to get that unboxed, set up, just to see how it works. Without further ado, let's get this bad boy opened up. I'm going to pull this off the table real quick. And we can start pulling out some of features. Got our manual from We Create. Product is suitable for all places where there's smoke, odors, dust, and harmful gases. It can be used in industries such as laser fields, electronics, and precision hardware. Let's just start pulling stuff out. Looks like we've got an adapter here that I'm assuming is going to fit for the We Create flexible four inch hosing. Got power cable, zip ties, screwdriver. Got our remote. And the fume extractor. And the only thing left in the box is a couple spare filters, it looks like. Inside, it looks like we've got a big filter box here. Multiple layers of filters. That's really cool. So you get a couple extra ones of these. These are like the initial uh, filter that it will pass through. So when this one is used up, you can swap over to these ones. I'm just gonna replace it back in here. I wanted to pull it off just to make sure there was nothing inside that I needed to change or install for that matter. And then we can just slide this back into place. Top cover will go back on. You can latch it into place and, well, this is a fume extractor. There isn't really much to it. One thing I will note is this adapter does appear to friction fit right into the top there. And then we've got our flexible hose that can go to whatever machine we're working on. Get that around our flexible hose. And this simply slides over the top. We can reinstall our hose clamp. Can I just say how much I despise flathead screws? You know they make these clamps in Phillips head too, right? All right. So we've got our hose for the fume extractor all hooked up. Everything is pretty much ready to go. Pull the remote out of the bag and pull our little pin out of there. Looks like we've got fan speed up and down, uh, lock button and timer as well as the power button and an OK button. So my power cord from the wall just barely reaches over to this guy, but we should still be able to power it on. So we can press power. That's insane. 10%, 20%. That's powerful. I don't know how much more I can show you about a fume extractor aside from the fact that, well, it extracts fumes. So I've got this thing all set up, really just was taking it out of the box, attaching the hose, and you're good to go. I don't currently have the We Create laser with me right now. That will be here tomorrow, but for you guys, it will be, well, right now. What the hell did I end up here? Anyway, uh, yeah, the laser's here. Welcome, folks. Let's get this bad boy opened up. I'll lower it down a little bit so you can kind of get an idea of what we're looking at. Like inside, we've got our laser bed. 
set these off to the side. There we go. Cool. Inside the box, looks like they sent us a piece of plywood, a couple pieces of plywood for that matter, for camera recalibration only. And I'm guessing this is a tray for the bottom of it. And that's everything in the box. There is a USB port on the back side of the machine. We can plug our USB cable into it, and then into our computer. And turn the machine on. What? Well, that's cool. I can't say I was expecting this thing to raise itself up. <laughs> that's really cool, actually. Open up the top and install our laser beds. Right, that's good to go. This laser does not work with light burn. You will have to go and download their proprietary We Make It software. It looks like you can also get the app for iPad, iOS, Android, Windows, or Mac. There we go. There is a light burn configuration file. So if you would like to use light burn, it looks like you can. You just have to go to their website and download the configuration file first. Since we're already downloading their software, though, I am going to just use their software. It is called We Create Make It. I'm gonna throw the screen recorder on right now. That way you can see what it is I'm doing. So we will open the We Create software. All right, accept and continue. Welcome to the beginner's guide. Please follow my lead to start your first project. All right, apparently to start our first project, we have to create an account for We Create Make It. Please place the button, click autofocus. I can't, okay. One thing about these prompts is it wants me to press this button. Please place wood board into the laser machine, close cover, and click autofocus. This tutorial locks you out from doing that. I can click exit, but I can't click the autofocus button. They sent us some three millimeter basswood, so I guess I'll open it up and put it to good use. It says for camera calibrations only. I don't know how it could be only. It's just basswood, and it doesn't have anything on there, so... We're gonna use it for engraving. Open up the laser. Okay. I don't know how well you can see it inside of here. I suppose I can pick you up and take you inside of there. There is a pause stop or a fence, however you wanna reference it. So you can set your device or set your material in the lower left-hand corner and it will reference into place. I like that, the Falcon does not have that. Honestly, don't know how well any of this is going to come through on the camera because we're kind of behind laser glass. If I had a top-down camera, you'd probably be able to see it a little bit better. Let's try an image. They've got a couple vectors here, it looks like. They've got a lot of vectors. They're all animal vectors. Well, let's do something a little bit interesting that's not just black. Let's do the sleepy puppy. It looks like power 55%, speed 278 millimeters per second with a line density of 100. That's cool. So it's got free plane, laser, cylindrical, auto pass through feeder, which means where is the auto pass through? Got the air assist hooked up, get the USB. The one thing we're forgetting is our fume extractor. Let me go grab that guy. Just going to set it underneath the table here. Refresh to find where we want it to laser on the wood. After it's done lasering, I want it to cut out our part. I'm gonna change that to a cut pass. I'm gonna bump this up to like 500 millimeters per second, or around maybe 400. All right, let's hit autofocus. All right, looks like it's focused. And I think I should just turn on this purifier here. I've got it set to 50% power. Let's try through a Wi-Fi connection. Settings, Wi-Fi settings, and I'm just gonna click start. It says to press the button. Okay. 
Nossa. The software is not the worst thing I've seen. It's pretty intuitive. It's got some AI features, text, circle, basic stuff like that. And if it saves you from spending $60 on a light burn license, I guess that's worth it. And we can take this guy out of here. I don't know how well you can see it right here. We'll say this is a little bit of a pain reaching in from the top, but our initial engraving came out awesome. I think that was 50% power. Might be a little bit deep in there, but looks really good. Sleepy pup. Like that sleepy pup. Although he's not currently sleeping. That's pretty cool. I'm going to throw a couple more images in here. What I really like about having the laser with a camera and a positive stop is I can just throw that back in there, close it back up, and hit refresh. Now that spot there is gone, although it is not 100% accurate because I did not place it in the right spot. There we go. Now if I hit refresh, there we go, perfect. That, that camera is nearly perfectly aligned. Let's get rid of that and see what they have. What's this AI tool? Oh, okay. A beagle laying in the sun. What style do we want? Let's do photographic. Members only. All right. Apparently we have to pay for the AI feature. Let's go here. All right. This is our prompt. Draw a beagle hound mix with white and brown fur, big floppy ears laying in the sun. Let's see what Grok comes up with. All right. That's not bad. Let's save this image. Go back into the We Create software and load up an image. Throw that there. We're going to do a bitmap engrave. 40% power on this. Oh, that's pretty cool. It does not recommend doing that slow of a speed. Let's see, 400 with 40% power. That should be good. Hit autofocus. Can we preview what this is going to look like? That is what our image should come out like. I do want to draw a rectangle around it. Set that to cut. And we should be good to hit start. Everything else is basically set up. Can hit send. We are sending this over Wi-Fi, so it may take a minute. And we can press the start button. And now we wait. So that came out okay, I guess. A little bit dark in some areas. Uh, over here, you can't really see much of the dog. I wonder if we had turned down the power settings or up the speed a little bit, if that would have changed the results. See if we can get a little bit of a better engraving. I really, really like the fact that this laser has Wi-Fi connectivity, so I don't have to have it plugged in through the cable. In fact, I could probably unplug this cable now, since we don't really need it. Press start and send it. All right, that one didn't come out bad. Still not perfect, but with a little bit more dialing in of the settings, I think we could probably get that looking a little bit cleaner. Not bad, not bad at all. Then of course, our initial sleepy pup. So overall, the results from the We Create Vision 40, I mean, right out of the box, it just works. I did have a few issues with the We Create Make It software originally, but it looks like everything kind of figured itself out. The best feature by far of this machine, I think, is, well, there's a couple. If you've ever used one of the Falcons or any diode laser for that matter, typically you have to adjust it by yourself. There is no autofocus. This has it. And what this also has, built-in camera that's perfectly calibrated right out of the box, and the Wi-Fi connectivity that's just huge. Not having to have a computer plugged directly in to the laser. I can just set this in a corner, basically, let it do its thing. Yeah, that's big. I really do like the Make It software in here. It's got a bunch of presets, leather, plastic, fabric, metal, stone, ceramic, slate, stone. Down here at the bottom, they kind of show you what the different results with slate will be like. If your material is not listed here, you can do a test array. But the fact that they've gone through and pretty much done all the test results for you, like plastic, acrylic, 
They're kind of just showing you what you need to use right out of the box. That's super simple, especially if you're somebody new to laser engraving who's not really sure. I mean, look at all the different settings they have aluminum, stainless steel, power settings, and everything. That's it's pretty cool. Since I have some slate, let's choose this and I'm going to peak. Let's try 33% power, 400 speed. 55 at 400, number of passes one. Line density can stay the same. I'm going to pull the material that's in here out and put a piece of slate in there. If you've watched any of the fiber laser videos, you'll know slate's probably my favorite thing to engrave on with the fiber anyway. So I'm curious to see how this will do it. I'm not positive where the autofocus is. So this may or may not focus on the right spot. I do have it set on top of the plywood. Let's refresh. In this case, we're not going to cut out because that wouldn't work anyway. Let's try autofocus. All right, so it looks like autofocus is going to be kind of in this general area. It may be based off of what I have selected, actually. And that appears to be ready. So I can hit start, turn on our fume extraction, hit send, and go. You aren't going to be able to see anything while this is happening unless I put a close-up up top. However, I can tell you right off the bat, it's working really well. It's obviously not a fiber laser. It is a diode, so it's moving at 400 millimeters per second, not 4,000 millimeters per second. But it's doing a very good job of photo engraving on this slate, which is something I'm not sure a fiber laser is the best fitting for. Diode lasers are really, really good for photo engraving. So I am very curious to see what this is going to look like when it's done. Well, that's all finished up. The engraving came out okay. I forgot to invert it though, so colors are backwards. It was even able to get in some of the little areas where the grass is sitting, so slate works good too. I think my favorite part about this whole thing is the fact that you don't have to go through all of the calibrations that you would with a typical laser. They've got them here. And the fact that they include their little material test image so you can reference it time and time again instead of having to redo your own material test, that's awesome. Again, Wi-Fi connectivity, great. Autofocus is great. One thing I'm not sure about with this machine is it claims to have a pass-through. The only way I really see that being plausible is if you remove... Yeah, I can't pull it out now because it's sitting on it. But if you remove the bottom tray, maybe you're able to pass things through since the laser can move up and down. My guess is that that is the case. Not sure what you would do, though, about cutting if you were passing a thing all the way through, but I suppose you probably wouldn't be cutting if you're passing it through. So there really isn't much more to it. This is the We Create Vision 40-watt laser engraver, and this is their fume extractor that goes along with it. They both work very well right out of the box. If you're interested in picking one of them up for yourself or both of them, I will have links down in the description below for you to do that. That's where I'm going to end this one. I want to say thank you once again to WeCreate for sending over their Vision 40 watt laser engraver, along with some of the test materials and their fume extractor. If you're interested in picking one of them up for yourself, I have links down in the description below that you can use. Full disclosure, I do earn a little bit of affiliate income if you choose to purchase, but at the end of the day, the choice is yours. I will say this laser is far superior in terms of the features that it offers than that Creality that I've showed off a few months ago. Take that for what it's worth. I'll see you next time, folks. Take care.